Let me share with you a story, one that resonates deep within all of us. Imagine a young person, much like many we know, maybe even like we once were, embarking on the path of life with a heart full of dreams and a mind swirling with possibilities. This young person, let's call them Alex, steps out into the world with one underlying quest to be liked, to be accepted. Every morning, Alex looks in the mirror and adjusts their persona like one might adjust a hat, thinking, will this make me more likable today? This story is not unique, right? It's a universal narrative that speaks to a, a deep-seated yearning within each of us, the desire for acceptance. But let me ask you, what happens when this desire becomes a driving force of our lives, when the approval of others becomes the yardstick by which we measure our worth? You see, the quest for acceptance often leads us down a path of endless anxiety. It's like chasing the horizon, believing that if only we could be liked by everyone, we would find true happiness. But this is a mirage, a trap that ensnares us in a cycle of never-ending dissatisfaction. Why? Because the truth is we can't control what others think of us. We can't make everyone like us no matter how hard we try. Now, I'm not saying that. The opinions of others don't matter at all. Of course, they do. They do. We live in a society and being mindful of how we impact those around us is important. However, the problem arises when we place the opinions of others above our own values, when the need for external validation overshadows our inner voice. So here's a thought-provoking question for you. What would happen if we shifted our focus from worrying about who likes us to improving ourselves and living according to our values? Imagine the liberation, the freedom that comes from releasing the shackles of others' opinions. Suddenly, our energy is no longer wasted on the impossible task of pleasing everyone. Instead, we channel it into becoming the best versions of ourselves. Right? Now, you might wonder, how do I start this journey? The answer lies in self-reflection and action. Begin by asking yourself what truly matters to you, what values you want to live by, and what kind of person you aspire to be. These are not easy questions, nor should they be. But in their answering, you'll find a roadmap for a life of genuine fulfillment. Remember, the goal is not to become someone you're not, just to gain approval. The goal is to become more authentically you. And in doing so, you'll attract the right people into your life. Those who appreciate you for who you truly are, not just for who they want you to be. In the grand tapestry of life, your self-worth is not determined by the number of friends you have. Your true value comes from living a life that's true to your values, a life that brings you joy and fulfillment. Focus on being the best you can be and let the worry about who likes you fade away into the background. After all, in the end, the most important approval is your own. Many of us find ourselves caught in a subtle yet profound trap. The relentless pursuit of approval from those around us. This pursuit, while seemingly benign, carries with it profound psychological and social implications that can significantly hinder our personal growth and freedom. Imagine for a moment that you are a ship setting sail on the vast ocean of life. Right? Now imagine that every piece of approval you seek from others is a chain anchoring you down, preventing you from catching the wind in your sail. With every chain you add, your movement becomes more restricted. Your ability to navigate and explore the boundless seas becomes limited and slowly, the vast ocean of possibilities begins to feel more like a small, confining bay. This metaphor illustrates a powerful truth. The more we rely on others for our self-worth, the more we limit ourselves. Our self-worth becomes contingent on the shifting sands of people's opinions, which are as unpredictable as the sea. One day, the tide is in our favor, and we feel on top of the world. The next day, the tide turns, leaving us feeling adrift and lost. Now, let's consider real-life examples 
that paint a vivid picture of how this need for approval can manifest. Think of the young artist who alters their unique style to fit the current trends, fearing that their authentic work won't be accepted. Or the employee who suppresses their innovative ideas, worried they'll be rejected. They will be rejected by their colleagues or superiors. In each case, the individual's potential for personal growth and the freedom to express their true selves is stifled by their need for validation. This brings us to a thought-provoking question. How much of your daily energy is spent seeking validation from others? Take a moment to reflect on this. Okay. Consider the times you've changed your opinion to fit in with a group or the moments you've held back from expressing your true feelings to avoid conflict or disapproval. Each of these moments represents an expenditure of your precious energy, an energy that could be directed towards your personal development, towards activities and thoughts that nurture your soul and propel you forward on your journey. Right? The psychological toll of this, constant seeking of approval, is immense. It leads to a life lived on the perimeters of our potential, never truly diving into the depths of what we're capable of achieving. Socially, it binds us to a cycle of comparison and competition, where our sense of belonging is contingent on external validation rather than a deep-seated sense of self-acceptance. So how do we break free from this trap? So how do we break free from this trap? The first step is awareness. Recognizing the moments when we're seeking approval and asking ourselves why. Is it fear of rejection that drives us or is it a lack of belief in our own worth? By understanding the root of our actions, we can begin to change them. We must cultivate a strong inner foundation of self-worth that does not waver with the opinions of others. This involves embracing our uniqueness, acknowledging our strengths and weaknesses, and understanding that our value does not decrease based on someone's inability to see our worth. As we navigate the waters of life, let us strive to be the captains of our ship, steering our course with confidence and conviction, not anchored down by the need for approval. Remember that Our journey is our own, unique and beautiful in its way. And that true freedom comes from within, not from the shores of others' opinion. Consider where you are directing your energy. Focus. Are you investing it in the pursuit of external validation? Or are you using it to fuel your growth, your passions, and your journey towards becoming the best version of yourself? The choice is yours, and it's a powerful one. Choose wisely, for in this choice lies the key to unlocking the boundless potential that resides within you. The concept of self-reliance is a cornerstone upon which the edifice of personal success and fulfillment is built. It's about drawing from the well of your own capabilities and beliefs rather than seeking the approval and validation of others. This powerful principle of inner validation is not just a theory. It's a practical pathway to achieving what you're truly capable of. Consider the story of a young inventor whose early creations were met with skepticism and ridicule. Had he anchored his self-worth in the opinions of those around him, the world might have been deprived of the light bulb. Thomas Edison's journey was illuminated by self-reliance. He trusted in his vision, in his capacity to create Despite the chorus of doubt, his story is a testament to what is possible when we rely on our inner convictions and persist in our efforts, regardless of the external noise. Or reflect on the journey of a young woman, dismissed by publishers, who spent countless hours in a cafe, weaving tales of magic and friendship. J.K. Rowling's belief in the world of Harry Potter, her reliance on her own storytelling prowess, despite facing rejections, led to the creation of one of the most beloved series in literary history. Her success was rooted in self-reliance, in her unwavering belief in her world, even when others couldn't see its potential. These stories and countless others 
serve as powerful examples of what can be achieved when individuals focus on their passions and strengths, relying on their inner validation rather than the fleeting and often fickle approval of others. They remind us that the most profound achievements and the deepest fulfillment come not from external validation, but from staying true to our course, fueled by our own conviction and self-belief. Now ponder a thought-provoking question. What could you achieve if your self-worth was not tied to others' perceptions? Imagine the freedom, the boundless creativity, and the unstoppable drive that could be unleashed if you were guided by your own compass, valuing your worth by your standards, not by the applause or criticism of the crowd. Self-reliance does not mean isolation or arrogance. It means having the courage to trust your judgment, to learn from your experiences, and to let your inner voice guide your decisions. It's about recognizing that while feedback and external perspectives can be valuable, they should not dictate your self-esteem or the direction of your life. Escalating self-reliance begins with small steps. Making decisions based on your values, taking responsibility for your life and your happiness, and setting goals that resonate with your deepest desires and aspirations. It involves a commitment to personal growth, to constantly learning and evolving so that your sense of self-worth is rooted in who you are and who you are becoming, not in the shifting sands of public opinion. Self-reliance is both challenging and rewarding. It requires you to look inward, to question, to reflect, and most importantly, to act in accordance with your true self. But the rewards are immeasurable. A life lived with authenticity, a path marked by personal achievement and fulfillment, and the profound peace that comes from knowing you are the architect of your destiny. Now strive to cultivate self-reliance, trust in our abilities, believe in our dreams, and validate ourselves from within. The power to achieve what we truly desire lies within each of us, waiting to be unleashed. So I ask you again, what could you achieve if your self-worth was not tied to others' perceptions? The answer to this question can redefine your life, propelling you toward your greatest achievements and most fulfilling experiences. In embracing self-reliance, we unlock the door to our true potential. Step through that door with confidence, guided by our inner light, and discover the extraordinary lives we are capable of living. Now, the cultivation of a strong sense of self stands as a beacon, guiding us toward fulfillment and success. This journey, intricate and uniquely personal, requires us to set personal goals, engage in self-reflection, and embrace our own uniqueness with open arms. Now start with the foundation of personal goal setting. Imagine for a moment that your life is a garden. Setting personal goals is akin to planting seeds in this garden. Each seed represents a dream, an aspiration, a milestone you wish to achieve. Just as a gardener carefully selects which seeds to plant based on the landscape of their garden, you must choose your goals with intention, ensuring they align with the essence of who you are and who you wish to become. These goals, deeply rooted in your personal values and aspirations, become the compass that guides your actions, helping you navigate through life's myriad challenges and opportunities. Now consider the practice of self-reflection. In the quiet moments of introspection, we hold up a mirror to our inner selves, examining our thoughts, emotions, and actions. This mirror reflects not only who we are, but also who we have, the potential to come. It is in these moments of reflection that we can truly understand our strengths, acknowledge our weaknesses, and chart a course for personal growth. Like the gardener who tills the soil, removing weeds and rocks to ensure a fertile ground for their seeds, self-reflection, allows us to clear away the barriers that hinder our growth, nurturing a strong and resilient sense of self. Embracing one's uniqueness is perhaps the most liberating aspect of cultivating a strong sense of self. Each of us is a mosaic of experiences, talents, 
and quirks that make us irreplaceably unique. Celebrating this uniqueness, rather than conforming to the expectations of others, is what sets us apart. It's like a garden where every flower, with its distinct color, shape, and fragrance, contributes to the beauty of the whole. By embracing and nurturing our unique qualities, we allow our true selves to flourish, adding our own vibrant colors to the tapestry of life. Adversity, though often unwelcome, plays a crucial role in this process. It is the storm that tests the strength of our garden, shaking loose the weak branches and deepening the roots of those that survive. Each challenge, each setback is an opportunity to strengthen our character and build resilience. Just as a tree exposed to the fiercest winds grows stronger, so too do we become more resilient in the face of adversity. It is through overcoming challenges that we learn the depth of our strength, the resilience of our spirit, and the true value of our unique qualities. This brings us to a thought-provoking question. What unique qualities do you bring to the table and how can you nurture them? Each of us has within us a wellspring of talents, passions, and abilities that when nurtured, can blossom into extraordinary achievements. Identifying these qualities requires honest self-reflection and a willingness to explore new paths. Once recognized, these qualities can be nurtured through continuous learning, practice, and by seeking opportunities that challenge us to grow and excel. In nurturing our unique qualities, we not only enrich our own lives, but also contribute to the world around us. Each of us has something valuable to offer, a gift that can inspire, uplift, and make a difference in the lives of others. By cultivating a strong sense of self, we empower ourselves to share these gifts with confidence and generosity. Now, the importance of setting personal goals, engaging in self-reflection, embracing our uniqueness, and learning from adversity, these practices woven together create a strong and resilient sense of self capable of weathering any storm and thriving in any season. Cherish our unique qualities, nurture them with care, and watch as our lives unfold into a beautiful and vibrant garden, a testament to the power of self-discovery and personal growth. The vital role relationships play in our personal growth. It's essential to discern the profound difference between seeking approval and cultivating meaningful relationships that foster mutual growth. Picture, if you will, two different gardens. In one, plants are chosen merely for their appearance, with little thought given to their compatibility or the environment they require to thrive. This garden is akin to relationships built on the need for approval. They may look pleasing at first glance, but beneath the surface, there's no real depth no mutual nurturing. In contrast, the other garden is composed of plants that not only complement each other, but also contribute to each other's growth, creating a thriving ecosystem. This represents relationships founded on mutual respect, understanding, and encouragement. The importance of surrounding oneself with positive influences cannot be overstated. Like-minded individuals who offer constructive feedback rather than judgment serve as catalyst for our growth. They are the mirrors that reflect our true selves, helping us see both our light and our shadows more clearly. These relationships are built on the foundations of honesty, respect, and a genuine desire for each other's well-being. They challenge us to grow, push us beyond our comfort zones, and celebrate our successes as if Consider for a moment the people you spend most of your time with. Are they like the nourishing soil and sunshine that help a garden flourish? Or are they more like weeds stifling your growth with their negativity and judgment? This brings us to a thought-provoking question. Are your relationships based on mutual respect and growth? Or are they tied to the need for approval? Reflect on this for the answer holds the key to understanding the nature of your personal growth journey. Cultivating meaningful relationships requires intentionality. It involves seeking out those who inspire you, who challenge you in healthy ways, 
and who resonate with your deepest values and aspirations. It's about building a community where vulnerability is not just accepted, but welcomed, where successes and failures are shared with equal openness, and where each person's growth is supported with compassion and empathy. Right? The journey of personal growth is not meant to be walked alone. While self-reliance is crucial, the companionship of those who understand and support our highest aspirations is invaluable. These relationships enrich our lives, providing joy, support, and a sense of belonging. They remind us that while our paths may be unique, we are not isolated in our experiences. There is strength in shared journeys, in the collective wisdom of those who walk beside us. So, as we continue to navigate the complexities of life, be mindful of the relationships we cultivate. Now strive to build connections that are rooted in mutual respect and a shared commitment to growth. Be the positive influence in the lives of others, offering encouragement and constructive feedback with kindness and empathy. In doing so, we not only elevate our own lives, but also contribute to the flourishing of those around us. The quality of our relationships significantly influences our journey of personal growth. By choosing to surround ourselves with positive, growth-oriented individuals, we create an environment where we can all thrive, much like a well-tended garden that blossoms in the presence of nurturing care. Now this understanding guide, your choices in relationships, leading you towards connections that enrich, empower, and inspire mutual growth. And for Snowshin, my friends, life in its essence is a journey of self-discovery. It's not about amassing a legion of admirers or molding ourselves into a shape that pleases the crowd. The true essence of living is to understand and appreciate oneself, to uncover the layers of our being, and to bask in the authenticity of our own existence. Now draw inspiration from those who've tread this path before us, leaving behind the allure of universal approval to seek a treasure far more valuable, their true selves. Consider the story of a renowned poet who in the face of societal norms and expectations chose to pin his truths, weaving his unique perception of love nature and existence into verses that did not conform to the poetic standards of his time. Walt Whitman, with his seminal work, Leaves of Grass, embraced his authentic voice despite initial criticism and misunderstanding. Today, his work stands as a beacon of individuality and self-expression, reminding us of the richness that comes from living authentically. Or think of the young woman who, in a time when women were expected to remain in the background, dared to step into the foreground, pursuing science with a passion that was both unyielding and pure. Marie Curie, through her relentless pursuit of knowledge and her groundbreaking discoveries, broke barriers not for the applause, but for the sheer love of discovery. Her journey was one of profound self-discovery, driven by an inner force that sought neither approval nor validation from the external world. These stories, each unique in their context, share a common thread. The courage to live authentically, to pursue one's passions and truths, irrespective of the chorus of voices that might seek to deter or define them. They remind us that the path to fulfillment and peace is paved with the stones of authenticity and self-awareness. Let's now ponder upon this thought-provoking question. What steps can you take today to live more authentically and free from the need, free from the need for external validation? The journey to authenticity begins with small, deliberate steps. It starts with the courage to ask oneself the hard questions, to peel back the layers of who we've been told to be, to uncover the essence of who we truly are. Begin by identifying your values, those guiding principles that resonate deeply with your soul. Ask yourself what truly matters to you, what stirs your heart, and what calls to you with an undeniable force. Embrace these discoveries, for they are the compass that will guide you on your journey. Commit to expressing your true self in your daily life. 
This could mean pursuing a long neglected passion, voicing your thoughts and opinions with confidence, or simply choosing to present yourself to the world in a way that feels genuinely you. It's in these moments of self-expression that we inch closer to our authentic selves. Moreover, seek out environments and communities that nurture your true self. Surround yourself with people who celebrate your individuality, who encourage you to grow, and who appreciate you for the unique individual you are. In these spaces, authenticity flourishes and the need for external validation diminishes. Embracing the journey of self-discovery is an invitation to a life of richness and depth. It's a call to step away from the shadows of conformity and to bask in the light of your true being. It's a journey that demands courage, for it requires us to confront our fears, to challenge the status quo, and to stand firm in the truth of who we are. As we venture forth on this path, let us do so with open hearts and minds. Be kind to ourselves, for self-discovery is a journey with no end, a journey where each step, each revelation, brings us closer to the heart of our existence. And let us remember, above all, that in the pursuit of authenticity, we find the greatest freedom, the deepest peace, and the truest form of fulfillment. So, my friends, as we stand at the crossroads of choice, now choose the path of self-discovery the path that leads us home to ourselves. Now embark on this journey, not with trepidation, but with anticipation, for it is the most important journey we will ever undertake. And in doing so, let us live a life that is not defined by the need for approval, but illuminated by the light of our authentic selves. As we reach the conclusion of our discourse, Let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've embarked upon together. We've navigated through the treacherous waters of seeking approval, a pursuit that, while tempting, can lead us away from our true selves and into a maze of perpetual dissatisfaction. We've recognized the power of self-reliance, an inner strength that fuels our journey and guides us through life's challenges with grace and resilience. We've delved into the art of cultivating a strong sense of self, acknowledging that understanding and appreciating our uniqueness is the foundation upon which personal growth and fulfillment are built. We've explored the true value of relationships, those sacred connections that enrich our lives, challenge us to grow and support us in our pursuit of authenticity. We've celebrated the beauty of self-discovery, a lifelong journey that invites us to explore the depths of our being, to uncover our passions, and to embrace the entirety of who we are with open hearts and minds. Now, as we stand on the threshold tomorrow, I, I urge you to take a bold step forward. Start focusing on what makes you unique, on those qualities that set you apart from the crowd. Embrace your journey with confidence and optimism knowing that each step you take is a step toward becoming the most authentic version of yourself. Let this be your call to Atkins, to live a life that's true to you, free from the chains of approval and rich with the rewards of self-reliance and personal growth. Surround yourself with relationships that nurture your soul and venture forth into the world with the unshakable belief in your own worth. And so I leave you with a thought a guiding light to carry with you as you navigate the path ahead. Your value does not decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth. Remember this, cherish it, and let it remind you of the irreplaceable contribution you have to make to this world. As we part ways, remember that the journey of self-discovery is not a destination but a continuous voyage. It's a voyage that promises no immediate accolades, or applause, but offers something far more precious, the gift of living a life that's genuinely and unapologetically your own. So go forth, my friends, with courage and conviction, embrace your uniqueness, cultivate your strengths, and let the light of your authentic self shine brightly for all to see. For in doing so, you not only illuminate your path, but also light the way for others 
inspiring them to embark on their journeys of self-discovery and personal growth. Thank you for sharing this journey with me. May you walk your path with confidence, guided by the light of your own unique brilliance, and may your life be a testament to the extraordinary power of authenticity.